Hi, I'm Jennifer Branch. If you're not challenging yourself, then you're not becoming a better artist. Sometimes paintings just don't work, but we can always learn from them. So here's one I probably shouldn't be showing you, but I think we can all learn from it. Happy painting. I started out with a gorgeous photo, white boats reflecting in the water in Southwest Harbor, Maine. Here, it's looking really good. I have a dark background. I've got the white boats. I've had the reflections roughed in. Nothing's too dark. And by here, wow, it's heavy. It's dark. There's no feeling of lightness. That sparkle is completely gone. And even with the wax crayon and resisting psalm and lots of white ripples in the water, it just feels dull. Um, I don't really have a good focus. Um, there are a couple boats. I've lost the boathouse in the back. My value pattern's gone. My warm, cool pattern is gone. And it just looks awful. So when you get a painting that looks this bad, take it, scribble as much as possible, play around, try to figure out where you get went wrong, learn from your mistakes, and then move on and create something beautiful from it. Don't keep overworking a painting that isn't working. Move on. Paint another one, exact same thing, or with the changes that you think it needs. I narrowed in on my center of interest, so you just see that one sailboat. I can do another painting later of the beautiful white ripples across the water. I did a quick scribble of a value study on this. I do have a video for that. And then I painted a lovely painting in which I'd learned from my mistakes. I focused in on my center of interest and I painted a successful painting. But behind every successful painting, there are some non-successful paintings that you learn from. And every time you learn from a painting, your next painting will be that much better. So always be willing to have a painting you can't hang on the wall and try a little bit harder and your paintings will be so much better. There are two other videos in this series, planning the painting and actually painting it. I hope you enjoy them. My website's at paintingwatercolor.com and there's a lot more information about painting watercolor. Happy painting!